Brewhouse followers. Today we are going to be making a beer opener keychain. Um, we are going to be doing this one for dad today, but it really could be for anybody. It could say Pacific Northwest, um, go outside, whatever it may be. We are going to be using our mountain and our tree stamps today to just give that little extra touch. And I am going ahead and I'm using one of our Stamp It Out kits. So it comes up with three of these and three little split rings for your keychain. A few other things I am going to be using is I'm going to be using my um, straight tape so that I'm not covering up my um, piece the whole time. This is not necessary, but it is going to help hold your um, blank in place. So if you have problems with that, I suggest getting that. I also have my stamping guides that I'm going to be using to help me stamp out my verbiage straight. I have my amazing enamel stamp um, marker to help bring those details out. And then I am using the Willow Signature Set. So they're signature sets from Impress Art. These are able to stamp on stainless steel. I like this one because it's kind of a longer four millimeter stamp or bigger I should say and it just has a really clean and crisp font all right so let's get started I took off that blue thing on my um, the little protector on it I took that off and now I'm gonna use the stamp it straight tape just to secure the piece on here and I'm just gonna put it on both ends First things first is I'm going to come in with those mountain stamps. So there's this bigger one that's going to have the whole mountain. And that's what I'm going to use first. Again, Impress Art has your engravings of your letters and um, any of your more designed ones. They're always going to be engraved on here. And you're going to want that facing you when you're stamping. So on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and take the stamp right to the edge. I'm going right in the middle of it. We are going to use that tap and tilt method. So I'm going to hit it once, um, nice and firm, at that 90 degree angle to the blank. Um, and then I'm just going to slightly tilt it back, forward to the side to the side. Now you don't want to go too far because then you will leave the impressions of the side of the stamp. And I got a nice impression there. Okay, now I'm going to come in with those caps. So I'm going to come in with those other sides. I would like to point out, so this guy, when it's facing me, it looks like it would be going off this way. But um, it actually goes to the point to the tip. So it's like flipped over on here. So just make sure you're paying attention to that when you're stamping it. And I'm going to go right off that mountain kind of up a little bit higher so it's even my stamp is completely even with the edge here and again that tap and tilt to get all the detail in the stamp okay look at that it's beautiful so now I'm going to come in with that other one I'm going to try to keep it about the same height Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and use that same stamp, and I'm going to come a little bit lower, kind of creating a few more caps. Again, with these mountains, there's really no wrong or right. Um, you're just kind of creating some more snow caps. And that is whether they're piled on top of each other or under each other. All right, look at that. I'm gonna kind of bring it a little bit closer. So fun. Now we're gonna go ahead and come in with those trees. So on the stamp set, I got my largest one. These two are the same size and then my smallest one. And I don't know if you guys can see, but they are all different designs which is awesome. You can really get a pretty forest going. 
So I'm going to come in with, I think this guy. Maybe we'll do this larger one. We're going to go on the outside with him. And again, to get all that detail, I do that tap and tilt. I'm going to do another one on this side. And I could leave it like this. I could add more trees. It just really comes down to a preference. Um, I am going to add trees. So I'm going to come in with a skinnier one here. That's a little bit smaller. I'm going to do him one more. Actually, that's, this is a perfect example. So one thing with these trees is see they are overlapped, but it still looks so cute. So you could create as thick of a forest as you want or as scarce. I could leave it like this and be happy. I'm going to come in with the smallest tree. One other style tree I'm going to pop on here. Oh yeah, that is amazing. I love the way this is looking. Okay, one more tall tree. Right in here. Alright, I love the way that turned out. I'm going to go ahead and, usually I wait to color this in, but I'm going to go ahead and color in now with that enamel marker, just so you guys can see what this, um, these mountain and tree stamps come out like. They are so detailed, they are so beautiful. Again, I just want to make sure I'm covering all those spots that were indented with the stamp. So again, I'll give it that minute to go ahead and dry, and then we will go ahead and wipe it off. Okay, now that it's been that minute, I'm going to go ahead and just pat, pat the ink, and then I'll wipe off. Oh, so much better. When you're patient, your ink looks so much better. All right, now look at that fun detail. So fun. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put my verbiage on here. I'm going to go ahead and take my st stamping guide here. So today I do have a bracelet one, and I just want to show you these off. You don't need a bracelet one, but I was working on some bracelets today. So um, one thing I love about these is they do have that middle marker along the whole stamping guide. So for bracelets, it's perfect because you can line that right up in the center. Now on here, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's that blue line that goes all the way across. And then there's those little hash marks on the side. So for a stamping blank, if you're using the 1 4th inch, you're going to line the bottom of your stamping blank with that long blue line that goes all the way across. And then up to that 3 4 and so forth. Um, on this particular one, we won't be doing that. I will use that line to help me center up, but I'm going up higher on the trees. So I just kind of eyeball, so there's my tree, and then go up from there. Okay, I just want to show you guys how to use these dash marks and to fill out your stamping guide correctly. Now, if we are stamping out best dad ever, um... I think I try to find my middle. I try to find my middle letter or my middle space um, between the letters. Now, there's four letters for best and four letters for ever, and then three for dad. So that A is actually the middle. So this is going to be the middle of my stamping blank. I'm going to go ahead and put the A right on that yellow dash, and then I'm going to go with every dash mark. So the black ones will have dad. And then we're going to space out. So here's one dash mark. We're going to go to that next dash mark and start our word best. 
So I'm just lining up all my letters with that dash mark. So there's dad, there's a dash, let's space it though. So we come down to this black dash mark and start ever. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put this guy on. So we're just gonna go ahead and center again that dash mark. I make sure my um, stamping guide is above my trees. And then I'm gonna come in with my stamps now. We went ahead and moved the camera just so you have a little bit different view and can see how this actually works. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lightly slide your stamping letter to catch. I don't know if you guys see, but it catches right on that stamping guide. And then when I stamp, I wanna make sure that my stamp is right in the middle of that dash mark. And then I'm gonna hold this firmly at a 90 degree angle to the stamping blank and one hit. Okay, let's do that again. Coming in with that E. It catches on that guide. Okay, now we are done stamping that verbiage, best ad ever. I'm going to take off all the tape, my stamping guide, and we're going to go ahead and come in with that marker. And I'm just going to fill it in, fill all those letters in, and let it dry. I am going to come back in just to make sure I didn't miss anything on my mountaintops and trees. Okay, again, just gonna let that dry for about a minute or so. Um, and then we'll go ahead and wipe it all off. Okay, it's been a little over the minute, so I'm gonna just dab on top of all the letters and my detailed stamps, getting as much ink off as I can. And then I'm just gonna wipe it all off. Okay. A little bit in that crevice there, but I'm just gonna wipe it all away. And look at that. How fun is it? All right, and then all you have to do is take your split ring, open it up, slide it on on, slide it right on. And you're good to go. You got a cute little gift for somebody. Alright, thank you for joining me today, you guys, and happy crafting. Go have fun designing.